got a package, the another package from Starlink. In my last video, I unboxed the Starlink router in the dish, and today we're gonna be unboxing the solution for how bad the Starlink router is. You don't believe me? Why Starlink router is bad? Okay guys, so this is currently my room, and that is the router. Look, I'm currently too far away from it, and the signal is not strong. What about this router that has 6 antennas? The only solution is to buy the mesh router, which is too expensive. As you can see, I already have it. Now we're gonna test the 6 antenna router, which is fiber home. As you can see, even if I'm too far away from the router, the 5 gigahertz frequency coverage is still strong. Plus, the latency is less than 20 milliseconds. Now for the upload speed, it's not quite bad. For the Starlink router, as you can see, I've already switched to 2.4 GHz bad, meaning that the 5 GHz frequency coverage is bad. So does the upload speed! This phone is going to be dead in time soon. Now I'm using my parents' phone, so let's start unboxing. The phone is too big, so yeah. Come on. Well, I don't need to use the car anymore. Well, I need you, bro. Hey. As you can see, I'm currently using a piece of cable to hold the balance. Finally, let's see, what is the solution for the bad scrolling router? How may I open this? Oh! You know, the Ethernet adapter. As you can see, this is used to bypass your Starlink router, which is for later. Here we are, we have the Starlink port and the Ethernet port. Obviously, we have instructions. Now, we're gonna be testing on three different routers, including TotalLink 8810R, TP-Link WR941HP, and TP-Link Deco E4. Now, we're gonna bypass the router, which is right there. This is our third party router, which is total link. We're gonna bypass it. Get your Ethernet adapter. I don't have the ability to grab the camera anymore. Unplug your Starlink cable, plug the Ethernet adapter. Ethernet adapter is successfully connected, so now we're gonna connect our Starlink cable. Crunch is like yum. Connect the third party router, and let's turn it on. Now the third party router is powering on. You may wonder why is the light indicator orange? Well, it was actually blue, but it is not used for a long time, so the plastic cover is yellowed. So let's bypass our Starlink router. Simply open the Starlink app, go to settings, bypass mode, and then slide to bypass. Well, they are telling me to submit something, but I don't care. Now it is disconnected. In bypass mode, you're no longer to connect to your Starlink network. I'm not connected to my third party router, no internet. First, we're gonna configure and test the totaling router. As you can see, everything is disconnected, no IP address, no anything. Probably we need to set up, I have no idea how I'm supposed to configure this. Okay, I guess it is now connected right now. Let me see if it is connected. Now it is connected, it was processed. Look at guys, my hand is vibrating. One of my hand is grabbing the camera and it is heavy. Well, my hands are vibrating, let's test the speed. Guys, let's go ahead and test the speed. Looks like it is reduced by half. Oh, let's try again. Now the speed is same right now. It's not bad, but it decreases just a little bit. Not bad. Let's go to my room which is far away from the router to test the speed again. Okay, let's test it on my computer which is far away from the router. Oh man, same. The signal is stronger but the speed is actually slower. Yeah, bypassing the router might be a great idea unless... Oh my god. Apparently, bypassing is an helpful...
apparently guys bypassing is not a solution but we're gonna try more even on a 5 gigahertz band but the router is not as good as much apparently guys the router itself might be the problem so let's connect to another third party router now we're gonna test it on tp-link deco we're gonna connect this to deco can someone grab the camera for me <sighs> there comes a red light now it is connected by this processing okay it's done Let's test it out. Ayo, come on. What the fudge? Wow, the latency is high? Oh, so slow. Connecting it back to Totalink. Let me just connect this back to Totalink. It's blinking red every time. The WAN cable is disconnected. Let me check. Are there any loose cable? Well, there are no lights blinking. Wow, loose cable inside. Okay, it is finally connected. Not quite bad. And it is much faster. What about this router? Which some of the antennas are loose and... For Deco, it is significantly slow, so let's configure and test the last router. TP-Link WR941HP. Let's try to test the speed. Ping not bad. Wow, it is slower than expected. Well, the speed is same, right? But uh, it is slower than total length last time. So the winner is total length. Well, Total Link is actually the best. Let's connect it back. It's losing. Come on. Only in certain angle. Are you kidding me? There we go. With Total Link router during Starlink bypass mode, some of the devices get a slower speed, even a significant slower upload speed. For my iPad, it's not that bad. For my conclusions, bypassing is not actually help, but just the signal strength. Good guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.